Have I ever told you the definition of insanity? Okay, insanity is. Insanity. Insanity is the act of doing something over and over and expecting different results. That is insanity. Why I keep buying these books is insanity. Yep. <laughs> So we're going to talk about the next issue of Godzilla Rivals, uh, Biollante vs. Destroya. The Godzilla Rival books have been a lot of hit and miss. More miss than hit. Now, full disclosure, I'm not going to shit on the writers, because a lot of these got, uh, um, men and women, um, a lot of these people have been basically like, this is might be their only chance to write Godzilla, and this is the first time a lot of them have been are working in like a major company in I, like IDW, and you know every writer has to start somewhere. So I'm not gonna shit on the writers here. Um, I'm not gonna sh I'm not gonna like be like oh god you guys shouldn't write here, but like here's the problem with the Godzilla right uh, with the Godzilla rival title to begin with. It really feels like either A, these guys are too much like fans, or they do, were just kind of given a task and didn't know what to do with it. Also, especially the Versus line, which has been now three titles um, in this Godzilla Rival line. First being Rodan versus Ebra, then we had Mothra versus Titanosaurus, and now we have this. We are getting a Space Godzilla one, which is being done by Matt Frank, so that one I'm going to have a lot more faith in. A it was Matt Frank doing Space Godzilla. Or I hope that is. I know he's doing the cover art, but I don't know. But I have seen on his social media that like, oh, he's he's really excited to do this book. So I don't know if he's just doing the art or if he's doing the art and writing. I don't know. But that would be the one where I'd have to be like, fuck, I'd have to go. Re I'd have to go read it now. You know, I like, I have to go read it. Anyway. So let's talk about this book, Godzilla vs. Uh, Godzilla Rivals: Biollante vs. Destroya. First off, the artwork does not match um, the story. Like this is not fitting for either kaiju. When you think Destroya and Biollante, you think two the the two biggest monsters to come out of uh, the Heisei era. You know, the first of the new monsters in that Godzilla fought and the last monster Godzilla fought in the Heisei era. It's a big moment. And they're, like, dark and brooding. And you'd think, like, you know, uh, just to showcase, like, art like this would work, right? Like, you'd think you'd get art like this. No. What you get... What you get, unfortunately, is... This. It's not bad, it's just... It's not like the right tone for what I'd go for this for this book. Um, yeah. Also, the artwork looks really lumberjanesy, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just I'm not saying like it fits for a Godzilla artwork. But then again, a lot of these Godzilla artwork uh, are the artwork in the Godzilla Rival books haven't been great. Now, the story itself is pretty ridiculous. But then again, Godzilla in itself is ridiculous. The story is is that this woman who runs a group a like a Starbucks s health shake, um, known as uh, known as Annika Bloom. I think it's Annika Bloom. It, well, it's definitely her first name's Annika. She is running a company that is making an addictive drink that is quote unquote healthy and will fix the world. It turns out it comes from Biolante. Along the way, we also have another character um, named uh, Mina, and Mina is a failed kaiju uh, researcher and the reason why she failed is probably the most dumb fucking thing I've ever heard. She basically posted a paper that kaiju like she posted the theory that kaiju can form even from multiple cells and multiple forms into a larger kaiju and apparently that got her laughed out of G-force. I'm like, "What the fuck? That's the dumbest shit ever." Literally Hedora does this. I'm like, and Destroya does this. If they're documented monsters, then that's known. Why is that like, why did she get laughed out and they don't give her a proper reason, even though she said, yeah, I gave credible evidence, but like, that destroyed me. And I'm like, that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> anyway, so, um, Annika um, unleashes Biollante. Meanwhile, in order to combat Biollante, uh, Mina resurrects Destroya. 
in order... Let me say that again. She takes the particles of, like, the little parasites that are... Um, Paranesiums that are made from destroy... That destroy be later evolves from and throws them into, an ev into like, a vat to hyper-evolve them to combat destroy... Uh, to combat Biolante. Yeah. If that's, like... And also, you may be thinking, well, what about the fight? What about the big fight? Like, it's gotta be good, right? Nope. Nope, the fight is pretty ass. The fight is, like, three pages... Three, four pages long. Five, if I'm being forgiving. And how they... D and the ending is so goddamn rushed. It's, like, uh-oh, we gotta take out... Um, we gotta take out Biolante. Boom! Ma uh, Magic MacGuffin. And then Destroy gets ripped apart before that, so Biolante wins the fight after even becoming Bio... Uh, like, Biolante goes into his final form, and then he gets ripped apart by Biolante. Uh, like, excuse me, Destroy goes into his final form, Biolante rips him apart, and then Mina uses a um, chemical MacGuffin to destroy, dis uh, destroy Biolante. That's the book. This might be the worst... Like, this might be the... S I don't know if this or the... Mo I will say, of the three of the Versus era of Godzilla Rivals... I will say that I think the best is the Ebra versus R Rodan one. A, it's a cool fight. B, it's a cool premise, and it's a pretty engaging story. Um, the other two, Moth uh, Mothra, and at least this fight went a little longer, and Destroya played a bigger part in here, as opposed to Titanosaurus takes up sixty, per like eighty percent of the book, and then the last three pages, Mothra comes in. Mothra X Machina happens. Here, at least, he shows up a little early, and they get to play. There is some play with the multiple destroyers. But yeah. <sighs> Have I ever told you guys the definition of insanity? I feel like we I'm I'm I, I need to say it again. So, yeah. I I don't need, like I don't know what else to say with this book. If I I grabbed it on the shelves cuz I was like, okay, it's the two biggest kaiju from the uh, from the Heisei era. There's no way this could suck. I was wrong. Anyway. So, do I recommend this? Fucking no. <sighs> yeah. So, I thought I'd just come on here and talk about that book. Um, I've been kind of lacking in Godzilla content. And I was like, oh, look. There's a book. Maybe it'll be good. Nope. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.